Welcome back guys, Major to back with another video, in this video we'll be creating a Minecraft server. I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while now, and here it is. So first off, you want to start by going onto your desktop and creating a new folder. You may rename this folder to Minecraft server or whatever you'd like. Okay, so now that is created. So now you want to go into the browser and click on the link in the description, and it will bring you to this page. And then after you're on this page, you're going to try to find the latest build, and right here is spigot.1.9.2. So you want to download that. So just click on download. Did I click on it? Click. Okay, there we go. So seven, five, six. All right. Just wait for this to download, and then once it's downloaded, keep. All right. You want to take this and drag it onto your desktop. Now you may exit out of your browser. So you want to take this download and drag it into your Minecraft, into this uh, Minecraft server folder that you have created. Now you want to rename this download to spigot that's it just spigot and then after that you want to create a new text document right into the folder so new text document you don't need to uh, name this text document to anything so you're going to open up the text document and this little code will be in the description and you want to copy this code and paste it into that text document so once it is pasted make sure it uh, this thing right here is the same thing as this right here the name all right so it is the same and this right here one g which stands for one gig this is how much ram your server is going to have make sure these two are the same and then you want to go into file save as and you want to make sure save as type is all types and then you want to uh, just rename this whole thing to run dot bat make sure it is dot bat and you want to click save you can exit out of this you may delete the text document after you have created this run.bat, make sure it's still there. And then you want to double click that and this will be creating your server. Now you're not done yet. So we're going to wait for this. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm lagging a little. I am not using my usual recording software. Okay, let me just empty the recycle bin. Okay, let's go back into that folder and now all these files will pop up. Now the server did shut down because you need to agree to something called the EULA. So let's agree to that. Change the false to a uh, true. And then you want to save it and you want to launch the server again. All right, whoops. Okay. Run.bat. Just click on that again. Okay, now the server is being launched. All right. Uh, loading libraries, please wait. Now this might take a while because it's going to create everything that your server needs. Okay, now it is done. Okay, let's go back into the folder. Okay, here it is. Now you're going to see it has created all these files. So, you may edit the server with server.properties. You can, like, edit with Notepad++. I prefer Notepad++ because you won't mess anything up with that. And then, so, plugins. This is where you can add all those cool features that uh, servers have, like, let's say, an auto-broadcaster or... Um, uh, maybe a kit plugin or a TP plugin or something, whatever you want. That's all gonna go into the plugins folder. So, let's log on to the server now. So, I'll just launch my Minecraft. I'll be right back. Okay, back guys. Now that we are here, you want to go onto multiplayer, add server, and oh wait, sorry about that. Direct connect, and then you want to type in local host, and then click join server. Now, you should be getting a message here soon, 
saying uh, you're logging onto the server. There it is, U UID of player, IPMHDHC. Here we go. I might be a little bit laggy just because I'm not using my using my uh, usual recording software. And here is your server. Now, the first time you start it, depending on how fast your computer is, since you are hosting your server on your computer, the server might be a little bit slow. So, this might... There you go. Look, I got teleported back because of the lag. Alright, well... Um, let's see what else. Oh, look, now the message appears. <laughs> okay. Well, if you have any questions, make sure to um, paste them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you on that. And, well, guys... Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and slam that subscribe button. Matrix out. Peace.